Oh hey, Vincent Wayne here for Slash Gear. I'm here today to give you a walkthrough of the new Surface Pro 3 from a Mac guy as well as iPad Air and iPhone. Um, I'm not the typical uh, MacBook Air user because I use a Mac Pro for my daily work and whatnot, my events and whatnot. So I'm not going to be here to rehash everything that Microsoft went through uh, in New York. Uh, what I am going to give you is uh, my perspective of Surface Pro 3 and what I've been doing with it over the last week or so on the road. I mean, I've been to London, I've been to New York, San Francisco, I mean, I've been <laughs> to a lot of places. And I have been taking it with me along with my MacBook Pro, my Lumia 1020, iPhone, Android, and of course the Mac, I'm sorry, the iPad Air. Um, Microsoft wants us to, wants you to believe that this here, the Pro 3, Surface Pro 3, can eliminate the MacBook Air as well as the iPad Air. Um, in my opinion, it's a tall order. I mean, there are a lot of pluses to the Surface Pro, but if you're coming, I mean, if you're coming from a Windows world, whereas you know you've used a tablet, uh, a Windows tablet, you have used RT, or you know if you're coming from another manufacturer that's, that um, offers. A, uh, a a Windows power tablet, then yeah, this is I mean it's clear cut. This is the device that I think that you should go with. Now for someone like me, I mean I'm I'm using Final Cut Pro. I'm using um, OS X in general for my daily productivity, and to replace all that uh, investment that I've made going to Windows is just <clears throat> mind boggling. I mean it's just I don't know where to start. And, and to tell me that I need to replace my iPad Air, I can accept that. I'll bite the bullet and I'll play along, but there are times when it's just the ease of using apps like Evernote. I mean, app, Microsoft wants you to think that the OneNote app is capable of doing everything. It syncs and it does all this great stuff, syncs to the cloud, um, but there are alternative solutions like like Evernote that can take notes and pictures and you know shoot videos and record your audio at the same time which is something that OneNote eh, kind of lacks right now um, so even though there's a nice stylus or pen if you will that syncs to um, Service Pro 3 it's still very difficult for me to be productive now that being said as a consumption device, it works really well because it's a full-fledged um, Windows machine, if you will. It's got a great kickstand, so if you're on a plane, I mean, it, it just it's just extremely convenient to lay it flat or on your lap, and you really don't have to worry about space around you when you're using Surface Pro 3, whereas if you're in tight colors on an airplane, there's really nowhere for the keyboard to go except forward. And um, that's an inconvenience. I mean, you can't fold the keyboard all the way back the way that you do on Service Pro 3. So that in itself is a huge convenience. earlier the hinges that they go down all the way 150 degrees you can see the hinge mechanism now open on the on the end and from the inside and if I close it you can see how the hinge mechanism occupies all of that space inside so it was also a challenge getting a hinge mechanism that had good uh, feel to it so it pulls out to the first position fairly easily and up snaps out and then from then on you have a constant really constant force all the way back to the final 150 degrees. Um, in terms of power 
Service Pro 3 delivers. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, there are some apps such as Chrome that just lags when you're expanding windows and closing, opening, and whatnot. But performance-wise, it comes in an i3, i5, i7. Now, getting an i7 into this thing is pretty amazing. Now, you got to just watch this video and see how they've been able to just put so much into this device. It's pretty amazing. To the previous product, this is the motherboard. It's about half the size of the Pro 2 product. And as you can see, that allows us to set the motherboard side by side with the batteries. And there are four batteries here, and a controller board underneath. If you take a look at the motherboard, one of the thickest part of a product typically are components and connectors and the fan assembly. So one of the things we did with this product is the components that are the tall ones are on one side of the motherboard and the low profile ones are on the opposite side. So when the, the engineers have to design the circuit board they had to take all of that component heights into account. We also designed some custom connectors with you can see these gold pads and we don't actually sh ha aren't showing you the connectors today but they mate to some fle flex cables and these are extremely low profile they're the ones on the side of the board that are yes the low profile side of the board some of these go to the display some go to the battery and some go to the the charging cable so with that let me do a quick side comparison so this is the Air, MacBook Air 13. I mean, it's it's a no-brainer that Surface Pro 3 is smaller. It's more compact. Thickness is about the same on this end. Coming over this end, the Air is obviously a lot thinner. Um, it's, you know, middle of the road between the iPad, Air, and MacBook Air. So I personally still enjoy carrying two separate devices. This guy's for work and this guy's for play. Um, not so much as play, but I can also get work done on here. How? Simply clicking in an external keyboard. When I don't need it, it clicks out and I'm done. Now, why would I want to stick with an iPad Air, you might ask? It's the whole ecosystem. That iPad Air has literally hundreds of thousands of apps designed just for the Air. Um, just simple stuff is just getting access to, again, Evernote is something I use quite a bit. Um, Instagram, for example, not available on here. Even though this guy's got a front-facing camera and a rear-facing camera, both are which are five megapixel each. Um, there's convenience there, but it's lacking that ecosystem, in my opinion. Um, in terms of video processing, the fonts are still too small. Uh, the UI isn't optimized for me to be productive. I mean, if, if I mean, of course, as a as a journalist or a blogger on um, assignment, you're on another crunch to type up article, process videos, process images can't do that with this. This is for someone who is in and out of the office. You need to read email, casually process some images, upload, um, quick video processing on the fly. This is who uh, Microsoft is targeting. Now, if that fits for you, then perfect. If you're coming from a Windows world, right, perfect. If you're using a Windows phone, perfect. I recommend Surface Pro 3 because it's convenient. It's compact, it's powerful, uh, and it's lightweight to have around and to uh, take with you on your travels. So, for example, if I'm on an assignment where I don't need to be uh, processing a whole bunch of stuff or you know under the, under the gun to get articles up, then yeah, I'll take service and I'll you know load my movies, silo my movies and whatnot, and I'm I'm done. One drawback that Surface Pro 3 doesn't offer that my iPad Air does. And that's um, always connect, being connected to the internet because that's not offered on the Surface Pro 3 yet as an option, which 
in my opinion, is um, kind of a misstep or a missed opportunity, if you will. Perhaps they'll release a different skew down the road, but for now, no connectivity. You're still going to need to tether to a device, and that in itself has drawbacks because you're going to be eating up battery life on your mobile device, whether it's the Lumia or the iPhone or Android, um, if you will. So that's my perspective. That's Vincent's perspective from a Mac OS SX, iPad, um, iPhone, iOS guy. Now, you know, I look forward to your feedback and, you know, whether you think it's possible to replace these two devices with Surface Pro 3 if you're already on uh, these two. Now, if you're already on the Windows platform, then, like I said, no-brainer. Go for it. Buy it. Pick whichever con uh, configuration you want, whether it's 128 gig, 256, or 512, and just have fun. So once again, my name is Vincent Wayne with Slash Gear. This is uh, my take of Surface Pro 3. Thanks for watching.